Everybody, this is 54 News Star, and this is the Hearthstone clone that you voted for that you wanted. Let's build it. Alright, so this first episode is going to be on the shorter side. I usually go and introduce the basic concepts within the first three-ish videos. Of course, this is kind of different from every other video that I've done. This is really a shooter, top-down, side-scroller, or anything like that. Actually, <clears throat> The next two tutorial series are going to be something that we haven't touched on ever. So it's going to bring in a whole bunch of neat stuff. Once it's kind of like the simplest stuff ever, but it contains a lot of complicated stuff inside of it. So it's really kind of cool. This one is going to be Dungeon Cards or my Hearthstone clone. So it's going to it's going to be similar to Hearthstone, but not an exact ripoff. I wanted to actually influence it with some of. Uh, a friend's ideas and actually will be influencing and changing some stuff depending on what he likes about it. <clears throat> so pretty much Hearthstone clone. Importing stuff we've already done that before. I didn't import everything. This is the main menu. Um, so I'm going to add some decorative stuff. We're going to go on to probably some card decorations and all that stuff. I have purchased a unity pack. You can see it down below so you can buy it yourself play with it I have actually um, I am actually getting a artist to actually create some effects for me so when a your card dies or when your card wins it creates a special effect so he's creating that in 3d and then rendering in 2d so it has a nice little effect to it but let's get straight to just playing with the actual main menu so I'm importing some sprites. We've all that done that before. These are all the uh, sprite packs. Um, so UI spells. So let's go over the cards. So these are like the cards. I'm gonna preview them, and then I'm gonna actually go into Paint or Paint.net and then layer them. I'm not actually going to pin them or anything like that. I'm just gonna slap some um, an icon on it, some text down below, and say, Hey, this has, this is level one or level two. This has so much damage. Because we, uh, whenever I do a tech uh, uh, tutorial, it's just a basis to get you guys started on your own um, little adventure of creating a game. So we have portraits, so those are all the monsters and heroes and stuff on the cards. I wanted to keep to a pack that I could manage but had enough um, like ex uh, expansion to it. We'll also be going on to an RPG game a little bit later on in the summer into fall. So we got spells, we got all that good stuff that you can actually collect as what I call gems on top of cards. So I mean, edit that a little bit later, but you randomly get uh, a set of these within a um, um, like a, a icon holder, a four, and during any part of the game to where you're like freaking out. Um, I don't know how many like. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a complete clone of Hearthstone, but I have it to where you will have different, like, um, each, I'd say, card drawing is about four to six cards, and you have to, like, you have these little, um, you randomly pick from a deck six cards, and then you have to flip them over, and the opponent flips his owner over. You don't exactly know what cards you have, and whose card is larger, you can actually uh, win and lose. Uh, now you can opt to use one of these little spells to weaken the enemy. So you will add this to your um, what do you call it? Your defense or the attack to either help uh, you um, to hinder the enemy to cause you to be immune or something like that and it will cause so much damage to the health and to the strength of the card so some like defense is going to obviously just defend you. Uh, fireball is going to go for the health, but something more along the like a potion is going to go for the strength of the card, um, or it's going to hinder uh, help you. Uh, poison blade. Now this would attack your health and your strength, as it is. Uh, this is probably okay. So we have version one and version two. So we have card meditate and then meditate two. So we have a zooped up version of that. So we go Kamikaze, Super Kamikaze, Heal, which is probably just going to be 50% or whatever, um, you know, 5, 10, 25, something like that. And then we have Heal 2. So, okay, something like, 
this card poison one is going to probably do five damage toward your health but it's going to do 10 damage toward your strength because you're weakened you can't attack as much so it's going to take uh like literally you know say your attack is um strike and it's a 25 damage well it's going to knock that down probably the 15. so you don't do as much damage so we got some UI stuff, we got some buttons, button upgrade, we got some paper, got the little card set up thingy, that'd be pretty cool. We have button enter and we have a regular button. Okay. What do we need exactly? Oh yeah, icons. There's gonna be some monster heads, portraits. So the Berserker, I'm going to place him right there. I'm going to actually shrink these guys in a bit. <laughs> so that, it's a little bit more decorative. We actually see what these guys are. Um, and then we have the Assassin. That's 240 by 240. I'm going to shrink the, I'm going to actually move that down to 40 by 40. It's a little bit small. Well, how about a hunter? Hundred. There we go. Let's put that right over there. This guy. Uh, one fifty-six. Two fifty-six. How about we do that guy? One fifty-six by one fifty-six. Oh yeah. There we go. Insert. We're gonna insert another sprite. <laughs> the wizard. Man. I get all of you. So, and I want to put one more. I don't want to fill it up too much, but you know. Could do a cougar, skeleton, paladin, ogre. Oh, yeah. Werewolf. Oh, werewolf looks pretty nice. Okay, so we'll put that right there. And what I'll do is I'll put the. This guy over there. This guy up a bit so we can have his own view. Now I'll shrink this guy down 200 by 200. There we go. So we have dungeon cards. Play, exit, and then you can also probably tap those buttons. Um, and then we're going to go into so that's layouts. So I'm actually going to rename this the main menu. Main menu. And we need that to be main menu. Okay. Um, you can also do add a subfolder. So that's going to be menu items. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just drag all that stuff into menu items, so it doesn't become so you know clogged up. All right, so when I close it up, it's all nice and neat. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a, another folder. And let's see, main menu. Um, I don't really want to do a level selector, but if I do another, uh, layout, so add a layout, add an event sheet. Yes, always add another event sheet. So. Dungeon cards, play, exit. I think all this goes straight into the game. So we're gonna go into game. Event sheet, rename, game. Okay, so new folder is gonna be renamed to game. Items, okay. So for the game, we're actually going to insert the actual background and everything. So this is the UI, enemy, angle back, and game player, okay. Okay. 
is that is 430 wide and make the screen for now 430 wide Actually, we can insert sprite background, the wood background, boom. And what I'll do is I'll just rotate this 90 degrees with a nice little wood background. I am going to have to send that to the bottom. We have our little, let's see if we can Shrinkies. Normally, I don't like shrinking stuff. Okay. Now we're going to need insert new object, another sprite. We're going to import the enemy. So I'm going to rotate that as 180. Actually, I don't think I need to do that. Actually, hold on one second. So, card versus card. There we go. Okay. So you just push that or that and your cards will be facing each other. So we're going to need some sort of spawning device. I'll put that there. Um, we'll make it red. It's going to be in the next episode where we actually get to actually creating game mechanics and all that stuff. Okay, so that's already in the subfolder, I think. I want that in game items. I'm gonna shrink that one. Okay. I need to start this dragging this into my folder and then we actually need to name it. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh, we got one more. There we go. So we have uh, a spawner on here. So whenever you choose your cards, they will automatically uh, go there. So I'll have them like float over there. So we're gonna have another one right here. This one will be green. So again, we're just setting up everything. I still have to set up the cards. There we go. So by clicking on that, now we'll have a defense, and on this one, it'll mean fight. So let's see, let's make the one purple. Put that right there, not covering it totally. Again, these are just placements, so we can actually just work on the game. That one is yellow, and I'm doing these as actually just buttons, UI buttons that we're going to have. So as you tap it, so it's going to be uh, Android, web, um, so as you tap it, you can either defend or attack. Now what, you, what we could do is the big button, what's the huge gigantic button for? So let's see, we'll shrink that down a bit. Put that right there. And this button, well, this is what I'm thinking as right now, is the I forfeit to you 
as in like you like you can forfeit that card not like there it's like you play four cards and each round you will uh if at that any point to where you don't want to um and like lose like uh, overall game points or whatever you can just forfeit that card now a any of the cards that are played during the round or you know I'm actually gonna have it to where you win a random amount of cards uh, from the deck and we'll just have save points which is actually something we've covered in the and the bat um, in the in a couple past videos but not really that much of let's place that right there <laughs> Okay, and then again, right here is where we actually put the little uh, spells. So we put sprite right there. As well as, we're just gonna actually place it right there as a um, placement. We're only gonna have like I'm gonna put like four maybe. So let's put one as defense. That one's a huge one. So we actually want to shrink that down. So let's go to 98 by 98. See what it says after that. See what it does after that. So we just shrink these down again. So 50 by 50. Boom. So you will click on that, and it will create uh, basically either put this. It will either drag it over here, or it will create like a little shield icon or something like that, or it will cause you to be immune or less effective. Uh, or not less effective, but causes you to be um, the enemy's attack will be less effective against you. So there we go. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have little health icons and all that stuff over here. So let's put this, place those right there. Again, we're just placing everything for the next episode. Let's see, health bar. Place. I'm gonna place that over there place our deck over here, his deck over here, and we'll insert sprite for the health. Place that right there. There we go. Okay. So many items is up so I have to actually drag these stuff over to game items. And again, we'll just clone that stuff over here. So um, I think that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this series or some, or you know, another series, or have your um, something that you would want to see in this particular series, just comment down below. Uh, remember to give this video a like and subscribe for the channel. I know this video wasn't like as informative as you want. But again, uh, since we haven't like done this type of stuff before I want to take it like I usually do in every series baby steps within the first couple of videos and then we start chunking it with um, harder stuff and um, yeah and then we'll go into another series which we haven't done before and I'll, I'll keep that under wraps until we actually do it we should see it one of those videos up pretty soon though so until next time guys have fun making games that you enjoy hopefully you'll enjoy this Hearthstone clone and I'll see you in the next video guys